everyone my name is Sumit Kumar and welcome to my channel so today I bring one more interview question so if you see this is the inputs and we have to bring output as like this so here there is one subject column in the subject column you will have all the subject for one student and the mark column there will be the mark corresponding marks for each subject and this is the list of subject this is the list of mark for one student okay so you have to convert this to this so basically what you do is one is what is the student id corresponding to that what is their subject in that subject how much marks he got so basically you have to convert like this. so let interval inter only need to check whether you have worked on column explode and uh, there is one function this function function explode and there is a function called array chip okay, this is the new function it, it is uh, added in spark version 2.4 after that you can use this one so if you are using a spark version 2.4 below then you will not able to do this one your version should be greater than or equal to 2.4 so let's start we'll start uh, solving this uh, this problem we'll, we'll, before you know, going that i will just show you this is my youtube channel and i keep adding the interview question for spark and uh, if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing to the channel and you will see lots of lots of interview questions and with the concept okay so let's start so i i will have already jupyter notebook open here and first of all we need to create this box to import array.jp okay so if you run this one and along with that i will uh, use that code also let's let's uh, import explode okay and prepare the data frame so if you see here df dot so this is my data frame. Okay, you can see like this. So now, now let's suppose that if you use explode, so what explode is do, explode will do is explode the functions that will that will return a new row for each element in the given array or map. Means uh, you can pass the array or map in the export function and uh, if it will it will give you the new element for each array and each means in each array means there will be two elements so two row it will give you two new row it will give you. okay let me show you by practical so let's suppose that i let's suppose you want to use export so what you will do you will just export this column subject and uh, there are two elements here. So you will get two separate row for that. Let's see here. DF dot select. You can pass column name subject and you dot so subject you have to pass inside a double code. So you can see you are getting this so if you use here with id okay either you can use df.id or you have to put into inside double quote okay. i'm putting inside double quote okay you are getting like this so but if you will use if you try using this explode in the same way here in also in marks let's see what it will give see we are getting the error okay because you cannot use uh, together this one because uh, uh, explode will confuse like how to do this one you have to use only in select string you can only use one explode function you cannot use two let's see what error you are getting 
if you see here, you will get only one generator allowed per select cloud, but font two. Okay, means we cannot use two generator. This is internally they will put it is generator only. So two generator we cannot use. So how to how to resolve this problem then? Okay. So instead of that, you can use array dot dot zip array zip function array zip will return the struct okay struct of array and uh, it will be having the corresponding marks with the corresponding subject like here subject will be math along with that 90. so let's see how it will work so let me zip it together so instead of load i will just use zip and uh, I will just use the uh, with column, okay. Columns and we'll create one new columns called uh, sub underscore marks, okay. So with marks and we'll pass here subject and marks, written marks, okay. Okay, so there is an error. So okay, we have to close it. Okay, with column. So with column, something is wrong. So we have to use column, not column. Okay. You can see. So I'm not going to see full, so you can use truncate equal to zero. Okay. Now you can see here, if you are using array zip, what is it doing? So this is a new column. I've, I've created a new column called marks, subject and marks, subject marks, and then subject and marks. So it is giving me struct of List of array. So this is the marks, maths, subject having 90 marks, English. We'll have this one. So let if you want to check the schema, you can check the schema. I will just copy paste this one. I will try it here. Okay, and list of so I can use print schema. Okay, you can see here. This array, check marks the array, and uh, the element is what struct type. And in struct type, first is marks, subject, and marks. Okay, so how you can access this subject here? Yeah, subject marks dot subject, subject mark dot marks. You can means you know how to get element from the struct. So I will show you here again. Now you understand this one. So now you are having this one together. So now on top of this, you can use explode. If you use export, it will give you the different different new row. So as we understand what is the array zip and explode, we will use array zip and, and uh, explode together and we'll solve this problem. Okay, it's my data frame, and from here we'll select only we will select id and we will select uh, explode subject marks okay. because we have to explode this right so we will select and id will have id column and we'll explode subject marks so explode sub marks yeah. and Okay, and we can give this alias as check. Okay, dot. So we, now we want this check into two columns. So max and this is, you see here, if you put uh, print, uh, print schema here, so print schema will give. This is the struct here. 
check mark or here check will be the struct let me show you again i will just uh, copy this one schema you can see here check is what struct type right so to bring this subject remarks so we can use and take hold together or just create one new data frame, data frame new and uh, remove this one and from data frame new to here let's pull new right here with schema and here it is select those DF, right here to all the well. DF underscore new dot so how to bring this one column into two different columns. You can use DF underscore new dot select what would select select like ID as it is and uh, what to get select check dot subject right check dot subject here and then select check dot mark that's all dot so this is my required output so i will try it all these things to one line let me take this one so this is my output this is my input and this is my input this is my output so quickly revisit so created one column called subject marks and uh, we chipped it subject marks we chipped it and then we have explored this column and we have selected that the required column and so this so this is the one line for this all so thank you very much for watching my watching this video hope you will like this video and subscribe